Accounting 14 Intercompany Sales Downstream Transactions Part 2. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, our email and phone number. This is taken from the advanced accounting text for McGraw-Hill. And you'll also see something on transfers between entities on our Management Accounting 16 video. So we define what an intercompany transfer was for you earlier, and that's up here on our prior video. Talked about a transfer of land, and then we got to where we left off, which was talking about a downstream sale, which is a parent sale to a subsidiary. So jumping over to Excel, here was our example. Levi's buys 80% of Hollywood jeans. Levi sells land to Hollywood Jeans, a subsidiary, so we consider this a downstream sale. The land is a downstream sale. We talked about some financials. Levi's has income from regular operations, which is manufacturing and selling blue jeans. They also include in their total income the gain on the sale of land to the subsidiary for total income of 155, and they declare a dividend. Hollywood Jeans has their own income and dividend. We left off talking about the basic equity method that Levi's uses to account for the investment in Hollywood Jeans. They recognize their share, their 80% of Hollywood's net income and dividends, but they don't adjust for an unrealized profit. So what we see in the Hollywood Jeans account, the asset account on Levi's books, they pay $240,000 for the 80% interest. And of Hollywood's $50,000 in net income, Levi's gets 80% 40, of it for $40,000. And of the $30,000 dividend that Hollywood paid, Levi's gets 30% 80% of the $30,000 or $24,000. Million, $24, now again, the reason that we subtract off the dividend is so we don't double count the income. We've accounted for the income from Hollywood here, so we don't want to double count it. So when the dividend is paid, we subtract the dividend so we don't double count the equity. And it's also income coming out of the business. Income coming out of the business. Now, there's another entity that owns 20% of Hollywood Jeans, somebody else. So this T account talks about that investment of the non-controlling interest, the 20% that someone else owns. That was worth 60000 That was given in the question at the top of the page right here. So this entity, whoever owns the non-controlling interest, gets 20% of the net income, or 10000 they get a dividend in the amount of 6000 and they end up with a balance in the asset account of 64000 We wrap up the downstream discussion talking about the elimination interest. The first one is to eliminate income from subsidiary for Hollywood Jeans. So by debiting income from subsidiary, we're reversing it out or removing it. So we've got income from subsidiary, the 40000 that's 80% of the 50000 we saw earlier. The dividend declared, this is 80% of the $30,000 dividend declared by Hollywood. And the difference, the 16000 we reduce the asset account investment in Hollywood. Now we need to assign income to that non-controlling interest. So how much income did they get? Well, it was the original 20% of $50,000 or $10,000, less 20% of the $30,000 dividend, which is $6,000. And what that amount that's left, the difference, the $4,000, is the non-controlling interest income. Just like we've seen on other consolidation problems, we're going to eliminate that beginning investment of balance, which is this investment in Hollywood, $240,000. We're going to debit common stock and retained earnings. 
we're going to reduce the investment in Hollywood account. We're going to reduce the non-controlling interest account. In the last entry we already saw, which is the gain on sale of land account, we're going to eliminate the gain on sale because we don't have a gain between parent and subsidiary or the reverse. So we debit to eliminate the gain. We credit to eliminate that increase in the value of the land. That's the end of Advanced Accounting 14 Part 2. You can see our hour-long essential topics in management financial courses that we record through GoToMeeting by contacting us. Here's our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL, all one word. To register for one-on-one -on -one tutoring or in small group sessions using GoToMeeting.com, here's our web address, our email, and our phone number. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.